Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking super easy Chinese honey prawns. So let's start cooking. We'll now do a simple seasoning and coating on our prawns. I have with me over here, after the shelling and taking out the vein, this is approximately 300 grams. With shell on, it's approximately 550 grams. Add in one third of a teaspoon of salt, egg white from an egg. We just mix them up first. After they've been coated with the egg white, we'll slowly add in three tablespoons of corn flour, bit by bit. Add in a little bit first, mix them up. The purpose of adding the corn flour bit by bit is we want to coat the prawns evenly. Now we add in the rest and just mix them up. After you have mixed them up, we set them aside and we will prepare the sauce. For the sauce, we will need 2 tablespoons of honey, add in 100 milliliters of water, 1 tablespoon of sugar, 2 tablespoons of light soy sauce, as well as 1 teaspoon of grated ginger. Grated young ginger I'm using over here. Just put everything in. Mix them up well. Once you have mixed everything up well, we'll set them aside and prepare to put the dish together. Now we're going to put the dish together, heat up a pot of oil using medium heat. Make sure it's very hot. This step is totally optional. I'm going to deep fry our vermicelli. Don't soak it in water, otherwise it will not puff up. I want to serve this like how they serve it in the restaurant. So check whether the oil is hot enough or not using a pair of bamboo chopsticks. The bubbles must be rising rapidly like this from your bamboo chopsticks. All right, now we put it in. It will be almost immediate as you can see. Now we will remove them. Fry them on both sides. Okay, beautiful. Using the same heat, we are going to deep fry our prawns. Make sure you just mix them up a little bit and just slowly put them in one by one. Do not crowd the pan or work too much. If your wok is small, just cook them in batches. For me, I think mine is big enough to fry everything. We will just need to brown them a little. Prawns cook pretty fast, so we don't cook them for too long. Do not move them around until the crust is formed. Right, now we can actually move them around a little bit and make sure that they are really cooked. It's okay if the prawns stick together a little bit, we can remove them or we can actually separate them in a while. Look at how beautiful these are. All right, a minute more and this will be done. Okay, the prawns are done already. We'll just remove them from the hot oil. Look at how beautiful these are. Once we remove them, we'll turn off the heat, set them aside, pour off the oil and we'll prepare the sauce. Once we have removed most of the oil, we'll put in our sauce using medium heat also. Just make sure that you mix everything up together first and then just pour them in. Mix them around a little bit. You will need to thicken up this sauce. You will know that the sauce is ready when you feel a little bit of resistance on the sauce. I reckon that the sauce is almost ready. In order to test whether the sauce is ready or not, using a metal spoon, we need to coat this easily. Okay, it's almost done. Right, now we're adding our prawns. We just need to coat our prawns, so we turn off the heat, add in our prawns, give this a good mix. Right, add in some sesame seed as well as a little bit of chopped spring onions. And now we just serve this and it's time for our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Mmm, smells really good. Honey, ginger, the mixture is fantastic. The prawns is really, really good. Absorb the taste of it. Very, very nice. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. And now it's your turn to cook. See you. Bye-bye.